Hello, my name is Arthur, and in the last video we moved forward with our quote um, highlighting to where we could distinguish two characters that can interfere with um, being able to determine where our in and out quotation marks actually are. So we got these two down. Now I've moved um, all of the escape sequences and format specifiers up to the top of this test document that we've been using and I've sort of compacted them so that they're in the form that they should display as escape sequences and format specifiers. That way when we um, finish writing our next function we'll be able to open this up and see. So what we'll be looking to do is to highlight the format specifiers. Now <clears throat> down here we were looking at this before. Um, this piece of software was um, something that I was learning my first effort at doing some syntax highlighting. Um, the way this array is written here is the way that we need to write things in order to search for the different um, the different escape sequences and format specifiers. So if we notice there's commas and two sets of quotation marks to go with each specifier or um, escape sequence. Because if we just write them like this um, the compiler is going to treat them like well this is a new line, this is a tab, um, this is a char, this is a string. It's not going to treat them like the string that we want to search for. So I have copied those from that document into here and yeah we want to note how they're typed because they're done this way for a particular reason so that they'll work. So at the beginning of all of the other searches along this growing very long function for, for highlighting a whole page, um, we've always declared or made our um, tag and then deleted the tag. Now we've already deleted the tag and we've already made the tag prior to um, doing the search for the quotation marks. So at the beginning of this function all we have to do is initialize the page editors. So we'll call that function and just as a reminder that's not a GDK function that's one that we put in at the start of writing this function so at the start of the highlighting text videos so we'll initialize the page editors and then we're right into the loop so we can go right into the loop now we can declare this variable out here I'm not too concerned about it because it's not a very large use of memory for an array and it'll just go out of scope um, as soon as we exit anyway so so let's go um, yeah let's make a space so we don't get confused as to where we are here so what we're going to search for is we're just going to do the format specifiers so those are all the ones that start with a percent sign. And then in the next one we'll do the escape sequences. So we'll just paste those into here. And this while we'll just um, it'll be without condition so we have to break out of it so the first thing in this 
loop would be to do check one. So check one will be a search. And what we're going to search for here is the percentage sign. So we'll search for the percentage sign and let's just find the statement for the search so we don't have to type this out. We don't want to type that out anymore. I think we've done that enough already. Except we're going to search for a percentage sign. Then the same as in all of the other functions. If check one. We'll do these things. Else will break out of the loop. So if it doesn't find any percentage signs remaining, it's time to break out of the loop. So that's clear. Now what we want to do with a result is we want to go if if that result also happens to be sitting inside of quotation marks. So we're going to go borrow this statement to check if our result is sitting inside of quotation marks. Because it's not a gimme that a percentage sign is going to be doing that. That's one of its uses. But that will narrow down how many times we go through the loop. So if it is there, let's do our, try to keep all of our brackets straight here. So we'll put in a bracket. If it is there, there is no else to this one. So if it is there, what we want to do is, um, we want to initialize some iters. So I think the first iter we want, we'll use um, we'll use iter as our end iter. So we'll go iter equals end. Then we're going to go GDK text iter forward to tag toggle. We'll send iter to the end of the tag toggle. So end iter and the tag toggle will be quote because it was found to be inside of a quote tag. Now we want to go um, GDK GDK text iter backward to tag toggle and start comma quote and let's spell that right so let's see GDK text iter backward to tag toggle so we'll send start and then we'll go we'll use the scan enter equals start now that's all right and everything except that needs to be put inside of a for loop so for the for loop we're going to need an integer, integer loop. We're also going to need an integer for limit. Now our limit is going to equal 11. And that's how many indexes are here. So we'll just save the counting on video part. So we'll go loop equals zero, while loop is less than limit, 
loop increment upwards put in our bracket and enter put in our bracket and let's just clear this additional space that we don't need okay so that looks right so that's kind of like we're initializing our iters to a new place so now we're going to go while one so another while without conditions that we have to break out of check two equals we'll do a search and we'll just move these and those we'll have to change the iters so what we're going to search for is specials at index loop so we're using the for loop to iterate through the indexes of this array using loop as the index so for our iters, um, let's see, iter is the end of our search. So our end iter, that's the limit of our search, which we put to um, the end of the tag toggle. And we left end alone, because we don't want to touch that. Um, forward to tag toggle backward to tag toggle is start and then we have scan equals start so here we're going to go and scan and we'll make scan our end of the word iter so that's right so we'll bring that down one and then we'll go if check two and if we have a check two we'll be applying our um, that's where we would apply our tag so we'll just borrow that statement from here copy that so if check two tab apply our tag our tag will go um, start and scan else we break out of this loop So let's see, um, that's our while. So about the only thing wrong here is this isn't properly tabbed in. So that should read like that. Now let's check where that goes. That goes to the for loop. That if didn't have a condition that if breaks us out of the larger while loop because no results were found at all so my impression here is that this should do what we're looking for it to do so we'll tuck up all of our um, brackets to clean things up things look right to me
So we check for the percentage. We look to see that what we found was inside of an end quote. If it was, we go into a for loop where we reorganize our iters to be on either side of the quotation tags. We organize our iter some more. We conduct a search. Um, it finds something and highlights it or it doesn't. Here's a problem. Um, we need to change this to specifier. So we have the right tag going on. And if it doesn't find anything, it breaks out. So yeah, that looks, that looks like it'll work. So let's try to compile, see how much of a mess I made. Okay, error expected something before a while statement. So that's right here. That's a semicolon on this. If that's the only error, then we're golden. Okay, scan equals start. Another semicolon. And one more try. So that compiled. And we'll just close this. We'll open up the document and we'll just cross our fingers because this is the part where it either opens or it locks up. Okay, it opened and it did exactly what it's supposed to do. So that's pretty happy outcome. Um, really, to do the rest of these is basically um, this function a second time but with, with uh, escape sequences rather than the format specifiers. And with the escape sequences, we already have this escape sequence and this escape sequence already done. So we can remove a couple of those. So we'll cover that in the next video for now. Um, we'll just do a little test. We'll see um, percent. So that seems to be working. Percent long float. A string. A char. So that seems to be good and we're almost to keywords. So that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. And until the next video, take care.